Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Happy, well, Tuesday afternoon. Hope you well, hope you're still having a good day. And uh, yeah, we uh, we released a video earlier talking about the loan roundup of how all the boys are doing out on loan, as well as kind of a bit of an update on Rafinha and Spurs sort of reaching out to his side. So if you've missed that, go have a little watch. It's a good little video, actually. The loan roundups are, are, are a blast to make. It's really nice to see how they're getting on. But this video is surrounded by, well... A little bit of a centre half called Lloyd Kelly, which I've been on about, but also Rooney Bar Bargy. I'm going to say that, and um, the youngster at FC Copenhagen. And we're going to talk a bit about both of those, as well as I kind of want to put to bed the whole Jota thing. And um, yeah, it's weird that I've been proven right. That's all I'm going to say. So I just want to say, if you're new, subscribe. You're very much welcome to join us for the journey. And let's start with Rooney because he's the guy that I first found when I was uh, scouring the internet on Spurs stuff. And um, it came from Team Talk, who you know, talked about how, you know, how he's averaging a goal every 138 minutes, beating Hyunmin Son, who's obviously had a good season. And Rooney himself has hinted at a move to Spurs in the summer. Now, I was thinking about this deal and I was, I was thinking, you know, let's let's open up the avenues of what the deal could be. Could it be a, we're going to buy you and we're going to loan you out somewhere? There's that potential. Obviously, you know, there's a potential that he comes straight into the first team and or first team squad. I wouldn't say the first team. He'd probably be a bench player to start off with. But then I was thinking about it. I was like, would he come into the squad? Or well, we need we need a winger. He's quite cheap when you think about all the wingers we have actually uh, been in for. You know, when we think of, you know, um, Rafinha, when we think about um, Neto, Bakioko. There's a lot to be honest. We've been linked with a lot of expensive wingers. He's probably one of the cheaper ones. He's a really exciting talent. I mean, you know, 15 games started, 10 goals. That's that's pretty impressive from a right winger. Um, he is a right winger with uh, with the left foot. So for me, I like the move, but I probably would say I'd like the move if it was a buy and maybe loan out. Because let's be honest, we've we've had some success with that side of things, have we not? See Destiny Dogi. See Papa Matasar. You know, we've had success and I wouldn't mind that, to be honest. It doesn't have to be, we always have to buy for there and then. You know, we can still go and get ourselves a winger. You know, is it a Rafinha? Is it a Neto? And you could still go and get Rooney and just say, look, you're going out on loan, you're going to come back here in a year and then you'll be in the first team squad. I don't hate that idea, but I wouldn't want him to be the guy that we're getting in as the winger. No offence. I, I would, I, you know, Neto's my guy, but Neto's obviously going to cost probably about four times the price that Rooney would. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll keep an eye on that. Obviously, plenty of time still leading into the summer window. Let's talk around the centre half. And it came from Team Talk again. And it was um, Steve Pearson who, who, who put the article out. It was a really good article. I really enjoyed it. And um, it, it basically says, perfect Tottenham signing falls into place after multiple rejections tee up free agent coup. So if you don't know, Spurs made an offer to sign Lloyd Kelly in the summer for about 20 million. It was rejected, which I get. You know, he's your first team centre half. You know, you didn't start the season all that well. When the Bournemouth didn't start the season well, they were re the manager was close to being sacked. It's only now, recently, that they've actually gotten rocking and rolling and Solanke's playing really well and actually they've climbed the league quite well. So I was reading um, I was reading into the article and it said that, according to Sky Sports reporter Darmesh Sheth, Tottenham have continued to keep tabs on Kelly. However, the by no means the only ones giving Kelly has entered the last six months of his deal is now free to sign a pre-contract agreement with overseas sides. So he talks about Milan, Juventus, they're all following uh, Lloyd Kelly. I think there's probably teams in the Premier League following Lloyd Kelly. You've got a Premier League starting centre-back, who's a good starting centre-back in the Premier League. And um, when we think about the Premier League sides, by the way, homegrown, all that sort of beautiful things that those te us teams look out for. But he's also free. That's the big one. Because let's say in a couple of years, it didn't really work out, but he's done all right. And he gets sold for 20 million. Well, if you bought him on a free, that's going to help your financial fair play, Right. So when I think about it, yes, he suits what we are expecting of our defenders. I quite like the look of Lloyd Kelly, I do. And I think, you know, the ability to play left back if necessary, that's something that we should probably hold on to as well. Bear in mind, you know, Destiny's missed time this year. Davies has missed time this year. Sess has missed time this year. Perisic has missed time this year. You know, do I need to continue on with the left back situation? It's only Emerson that's been fit that played left back. And obviously he's a right back. So there was that. And then, and then reading further into the article, uh, it says, um, 
However, the report goes on to suggest a move to North London could be on the cards and Tottenham boss Ange Postecoglou broadly remains a big fan of the player. Um, and it you know, even says, it says, if Spurs were to land Kelly, it could be argued the centre-back corpse would be set for many years to come. And it would be, you know, Romero, mid-20s. Uh, Mickey and uh, Radu, young, mi- young 20s. Kelly, same thing in between that young mid-20s. That's really good. And it's probably better than we've ever really had at Spurs. You know, we we we, you know, we had Jan and Toby. You had a really young Davison Sanchez. You had Dyer that was all right, but he was more of a midfielder at the time. You didn't really have that depth at centre-half. Which is, look at it now, you've got Mickey and Kuti, who's like, there's you guys. You've got a Jaguzan who's just come in. He's still learning. He's still getting up to speed. There's another one you can, like, sort of float in there. And Lloyd Kelly, boom. And also... All English speaking centre halves, you know, Romero's getting better at that, obviously, but like, you know, Kelly, Jaguzin, Mickey, all speaking English, that also helps when it comes to learning each other at, and in the fence, you know, Porro, Adogi, uh, Vicaro, all really good, strong speaking English players. So actually, that, that settling period for Jaguzin or a Kelly would be quicker, right? And the fact is, you know, you're going up to a big club, it's a big step, all those things. But, you know, you look around you and you're like, actually, it's full of cl- it's full of players who have done it now for a little while at the top level. You know, you've got Pesuma sitting in front, you've got Madders sitting in there, you've got Pat Matsar, Ben Sankor. You know, you do have a Davies sitting around you. You do have Poros now doing it. Vicario will have a year in it. Romero's been around for a while now. Vicky, Mickey will have a year of it. You know, you've still got Sonny. You've still got Kulu. You've still got Richie. All these guys are Prem Proven. And it's, that's a beautiful little squad. And it just makes too much sense when it comes to, you know, what you want to achieve in the summer when it comes to your spending, where you'll go, look, we want a, we want a winger. You know, we want a midfielder. You know, if you buy a Neto or Gallagher, you're looking at 120, 130 million. Genuinely, you're looking at a big, big amount of money. And if you were to get Kelly, you could say, well, look, we signed Neto, we signed Gallagher, we signed Kelly for 130 million. You'd probably sit there and go, have they all been on the market and you'd have to spend on them? That's actually some decent business because you'd probably say Kelly's going to cost you 20, 25 million easily. Let's call you Gallagher's 45, 50. You, you know, already off the bat, you're looking at 70 million. Neto costs you, you know, 70 million, you're 140 million. So you're saving money on a guy who's going to offer you value still. I, I just see it as a no brainer. I really do. Maybe I m- might want a different centre half, fine, but he cures a lot of our issues free, left footed, athletic, prem proven. The ability that you don't really get that elsewhere. And it screams Daniel Levy. It just, it, you know, you're sitting there, you're watching it, you're like, that just screams Daniel Levy. It screams what he's all about. I think it will happen. But anyway, guys, then if you hope you enjoyed, drop a like on the video. If you did, hit me in the comment section of your thoughts and feelings about Rooney, about Lloyd Kelly. I want to know your thoughts and feelings about both of those things. Obviously, subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell notification for more. But anyway, guys, it's the end of the video. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys.